Hi, my name is Priyam Savaran and I'm a Dermatology Registrar in Waikato Hospital. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what happens to your biopsy sample and how a pathology report is generated. After your biopsy is taken, it is placed in a formalin solution which fixes the tissue and it is sent to the lab. Once at the lab, it is then carefully sliced and processed overnight in order to dehydrate the tissue. It is then fixed in paraffin wax and placed in a wax block and cut into extremely thin slices. These are then picked up on a glass slide and they go through a staining process which ultimately produces a glass slide that can be assessed under the microscope by the pathologist. This whole process is time consuming and can take a few days. The pathologist reads and interprets the slide very carefully and generates a report. Sometimes certain special stains may be required to make a diagnosis and this can take a few more days. Once the pathologist has made a diagnosis of a melanoma, he or she will look for some key features that will determine how good or bad the melanoma is. These are thickness of the melanoma or the breathlow depth, the presence of ulceration or loss of epidermis, and presence of mitosis or rapidly dividing cells. The breathlow depth is measured in millimeters from the top of the granular cell layer of the epidermis to the deepest part of the tumor. If there is ulceration, then the measurement is taken from the base of the ulcer to the deepest part of the melanoma. The thinner the Breslau depth, the better the outcome. These three features are very important and form part of the T in staging of a melanoma. The report written by the pathologist is called a synoptic report. It presents information in a tabular form. They ensure that all information required to make management decisions and to determine prognosis are addressed and included in the report. Here is an example. Melanomas are staged according in to internationally recognized stages. The current staging system is called TNM staging. T represent the thickness of the melanoma. N represent the number of lymph nodes involved with the melanoma. And M represent the presence of spread to other organs or elevation of a chemical made by the liver called lactate dehydrogenase. The higher the T and M components, the higher the stage and the worse is the outcome.